Mourners have started gathering for the funeral of two deep slit cousins found dead earlier this week. Uh, Zandile and Yoneli Samali were murdered and raped after they went missing last weekend. ENCA reporter Swanginam Ganimboloni has been covering the story and she joins us live now from deep slit. Swangile, we spoke to you about an hour ago. What's happened since then? Yes, Rafilwe, um, the, the tiny coffins have just arrived. Uh, carrying the bodies of Zandile and, and Yonelisa. Now they are at the tent where the service is expected to start any time from now. The, as, uh, as in keeping with the Tosa tradition, the coffins did not go inside the house as it's regarded it's, it would bring bad luck. With the Tosa tradition, if a person has died tragically, like the, 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 these kids have died, the, the coffin then does not go inside as it's regarded that it would bring bad luck. So the coffins are standing outside next to the tent and the family is still inside doing the last prayers and then they will come inside. We've also gotten hold of the program of the funeral. Uh, on the program, the only person that is listed there, I, I told you earlier that um, a Minister of uh, Children and People with Disability was going to be at the funeral, but on the program, the person listed is Housing Premier Nombula Mukonyan. Now, you, you, uh, touching on uh, the Premier being listed on the program, we did talk about uh, high-profile guests being expected to arrive today. Uh, have they arrived? No, there's no sign of them yet. It's just now a contingency of mourners, community members who've come to pay their respect. They've come in droves. They are here. There's no space to sit. There's no space to stand. But uh, we haven't seen any high-profile people. The only thing that we've seen now is police more police have, 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 have disembarked here. What was the reaction from community members and mourners and onlookers when those tiny coffins, as you, as you described them, um, as, as they arrived? Surely quite a sad and tragic sight. Very, very, very sad, even from us journalists, seeing these tiny, tiny uh, coffins, pink and white. It, it just touched everyone. People in the tent started crying and then it, it just went quiet when they were taken out of the van because the van reversed into the tent and then the, 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 they, they opened the, the, the back of the van and the, 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 we could see the coffins and it just went quiet from mourners who were at the tent who were singing hymns. They were singing gospel hymns before, but when they saw the bodies, it just went quiet there for about 10 minutes and then one person started to sing again and people were crying. And we went, I, I went inside to the family who is still inside, would have not come out. So the family has, has not seen the coffins yet, yet because they are still inside. They, they, they were told that the coffins have arrived and then a prayer was, was made, but it was just tears as well inside. That was the NCA reporter, Spongilem Ganem Bolweni, uh, speaking to us live from Dixit. News that moves. ENCA.com.